Hey guys, I'm Aaron Edgar, and today I'm going to talk about how to play your cymbals. Probably more appropriately, how not to play your cymbals. So, if you take a look at the cymbal right here, I have it set up flat and at about eye level. So if I was to hit this thing, I'd be going right into the edge and putting a lot of impact and strain on the edge of that, not to mention hacking up my sticks. One of the things to consider when you're hitting a cymbal is that you pretty much want the exact opposite of that. You want your energy going across the cymbal, not into it. So instead of it being like this, you're going to want it to be like this. Sorry. Now this angle, although looking very cool, is hard to do that with. So the first thing that we're going to try is we're going to angle the cymbal towards us. So now with the cymbal angled towards us, even if we did hit straight in, sure it's still not the best, but it's not nearly as bad as hacking right at the edge. So from here, to swipe, no problem. We're at a much better angle. We're at a similar angle to the cymbal itself for swiping. That's going to put a lot less strain on the cymbal. Now, it may feel a little awkward at first to do this kind of thing. Let me demonstrate. It's still a little awkward. Let's lower it down a bit. Now the cool thing about the symbol being lower is we can angle it back again. Because again, we want our stick to be at a similar angle to the symbol. Playing this way is going to massively increase the life of your symbols. Now there are a couple other little tricks that you can do. First up, if you've got crashes on either side of your kit, it's, it's a cool thing that you can angle them, but almost kind of inwards. It might look a little weird, but it's going to make it so you have, say, your left hand crash and your right hand crash. But with this, even if I do hack straight at the cymbal like I would, it's going to glance right off it. So to get used to this stuff, I would suggest trying these kind of things out in the practice room to make sure you're angling your cymbals in a way that you're not hitting directly into them because that's just going to crack them right at the edge. And for most guys, especially ones that are paying for their cymbals, that's a, that's a hefty thing to have to replace all the time if you're breaking them. 